Okay, super quick uh, video. I just realized I was making my list for the store and I saw that this recipe, the uh, Buffalo Ranch Chicken, calls for cream cheese. Okay, so this is a personal preference. I will not be freezing my cream cheese. So I will take a picture if I finish it today. I'm gonna hopefully get my baggies set up. If I finish it today, I'll take a picture and I'll show you what it will look like. So I will put on there, add um, cream cheese, and if it needs to be added at a specific time, like sometimes you wanna add it closer to the end, that is also a preference. Um, I prefer to add my cream cheese a little bit later because I just don't want it to um, kind of separate. But any way that you want to do it. So for me personally, I find that frozen cream cheese and then cooked cream cheese can sometimes um, have a, a texture or an appearance of a texture that is not always appealing. So by that, I mean I have a, a friend and uh, we're both you know, frugal friends, we love to save money, and we love to stock up on good deals. And so like whenever cream cheese would go on sale, you know, she'd buy it on 10 or 20 or however many she would buy, and then she would freeze the extra. And then we have this dip that we used to make um, that is so good, it's so not good for you. It's cream cheese and chili and cheese, that's pretty much it, it's so good. Um, I guess if you made homemade chili, you could still make it. Anyway. When she would make it with the frozen cream cheese, I could tell the texture was just different. Now it tasted fine. So if you are doing this, let's say you're a teacher or you, you know you just have a really, really, really busy life um, and you don't really care about the texture of the cream cheese and I would go ahead and freeze it with it. So I've got a recipe that's coming up. I gotta try it out first and it's going to have heavy cream added at the end. Um, you can add it in the beginning you can but what i will do personally is i will make a note on my freezer bag um remove chicken add heavy cream because then when you remove the chicken then you can cut it up or shred it or whatever you want to do with the chicken um because sometimes dairy that is frozen or cooked you know like for eight hours it can separate get just a weird texture so to freeze or not to freeze dairy is entirely up to you. It is a personal preference. Just like for me, I do not like crunchy bell peppers at all. I really want them cooked all the way. Um, that is my personal preference. So on the recipe, if you make four of anything and it calls for the cream cheese and you buy it and you don't freeze it, then you might be wasting it. I always buy cream cheese. I always have cream cheese in my fridge. But anyway, I also prefer to do the reduced fat, not because I'm over here counting all my calories or anything, but because I'm just, you know, I have enough heavy S meals and desserts and things that pulling back a little bit here and there is good for me, but you do what you want for your family and what works best for you. So again, freezing dairy, personal preference. Another preference I have is I do not like to take raw carrots and freeze them. If I'm going to freeze carrots, I'm probably going to buy a bag that's already frozen and dump it into that bag. I've got a chicken noodle soup recipe I'd like to try for this freezer session. Um, but at first I'm gonna need to freeze everything and then thaw it and see how it does because I do not care for the texture of carrots that have been frozen and cooked. I used to do freezer cooking. That was how I survived homeschooling five kids, uh, had five kids in seven years. So uh, my survival tip was freezer cooking. So anyway, do these how works best for you. Again, we're doing ranch seasoning. I'm gonna use the big thing from Costco I have. If you do not like to do that, then just make your own ranch seasoning. Um, and then you can decide if you want to do frozen dairy or not. If you want to do cheese, my tip, okay, I said this was quick, I'm making this too long. My big tip on cheese is to take like parchment paper on a sheet pan, lay out your cheese, allow it to freeze in a single layer, and then put it into whatever baggies you need. That seems to work okay, but that's also a lot of work. So I probably, anything, if we do anything that calls for cheese like that, I will not add it to my freezer bag. I want the meals to come out and taste as good as possible and with texture issues and things we don't really have that many issues but again I'm if, if something doesn't look appealing I'm
going to think about that as I'm eating it. So for me personally, I will not be adding cream cheese or any dairy to the recipe. So it's entirely up to you. Okay, I'm going to go. I, this was way too long. Thanks for watching.